win. D A Y. Oh yeah. S C H double O L. Sunday school is marching on. Learn your lesson. Learn, Learn it well. well. increase, oh God, word my mouth to only say the things that you would have me to say. We thank you for your presence that's already in this place, oh God. God, have your way even in this Sunday school, oh God. In your son Jesus Christ's name, we're in Joel, hallelujah, the second chapter of Joel. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Joel, the second chapter. Hallelujah. And I'm only going to read two verses. Thank you, Jesus. Joel, the second chapter, beginning at the first verse. Blow the trumpet in Zion and sound an alarm in my holy mountain. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble, for the days of the Lord is coming, for it is at hand, a day of darkness and gloomness, a day of clouds and thick darkness, like the morning clouds spread over the mountains. A people come great and strong, the like of whom has never been, nor will there ever be any such after them, even for many successive generations. Hallelujah. We're talking about this Sunday. There must be a sound. Yes. First, there must First. be a sound. Yes. First, there must be a sound. Oh, yes. There must be a sound. Yes, Lord. First, there must be a sound. Yes, Hallelujah. Yes, Hallelujah. We began to talk and, 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 and to go over this last week of what was taking place in the land of rebelliousness that was taking place and how Joel the prophet began to tell the priests and tell the people, yes. you know, to well, to to get back on their face, to get in sackcloth and ashes, to lay between the porch and the altar. He began to tell them to come together so that they can repent. Oh, yeah. He said, go and gather, go and, and call a, a sacred assembly and gather all the elders and all the inhabitants of the land. Yeah. Hallelujah. He was giving them this word from, the, from God where they can get things right. Hallelujah. So that they can avoid a lot of things. Oh, yeah. They already, their joy had already been taken away. Oh, yeah. Hallelujah. Their peace, the, the anointing was no longer, the oil was no longer flowing oh, yeah. in their lives. It all had been cut completely off. But Joel, the prophet, was telling them, it's time for you all to well. Oh, yeah. It's time for you all to get back on the altar. It's time for you all to come oh, out yes. of rebellion. Yes. It's time for you all to seek God again. Put God first. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. He was trying to call them together where now if you call this sacred assembly, we all can come together. Oh, yes. Because remember, Joel is in the midst of this. Even as he's taking the message to the people, he's in the midst of this where he said, we got to get this thing right. He didn't even leave himself out. We got to go and call a sacred assembly and we got to get this thing right. We got the leg between the, the priests have the leg between the porch and the altar. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. So he, he was telling them what needed to take place if they were going to avoid some things. The locust has already taken over. Everything have already been destroyed, had been wiped out and so forth. And now it's time for you to call a sacred assembly. Oh, now yes. it's time for you to cry out to the Lord. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. So that God can begin to restore. So Joel is not finished giving the word of the Lord. Joel now tell them oh, yes. to blow the trumpet oh, yes. in Zion. Yes. And sound an alarm in my holy mountain. Yes, Lord. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble. Yes. For the days of the Lord is coming, for it is at hand. He said, now I need you to blow the trumpet. Yes. He said, I, I need you to blow the trumpet. Yes. Back then, they had the, the trumpet. Well, this trumpet right here is talking about the shofar. Yes. He said, now... 
I need you all to blow the chauffeur. Yes. Everybody have a personal chauffeur because when you lift up your voice and you begin to make that sound, you send it off a sound. But this is what they were talking about. They oh, were yeah. talking about blow, blow the trumpet. The trumpet. Yes. All you priests, blow the trumpet. Now it's time for you to send a sound yes. up to heaven. Yes. It's time for you to make, this is going to be a major alarm that's going to travel. Yes. When the church, when when the priest will blow the trumpet, this was sending out warning oh, to yes. the people. Yes. Now is the time when you hear this sound, this is a sound of warning. Oh, this yes. is a this is a sound where repentance is oh, back yes. in place. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. They will begin to blow the trumpet. Yes. They will begin to blow the trumpet. They made a sound that would travel, that, yes. that, that, that will uh, uh, hit them where they would know that this sound is different. Oh, yes. This sound is different. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. A, a trumpet is an incising to cut into or carve into. Yes. Where the word of God cut into our hearts. Yes. Hallelujah. When you hear that sound from yes. God, yes. it begins to cut into the heart. Hallelujah. Where it's going, you're going to have a reaction to the word of God. Oh, it's yes. going to make you shake. It's going to make you move. It's going to make oh, you yes. clap your hands. It's going to make Hallelujah. you get up and want to do something because now I have allowed the word of God to yes. cut in, to oh, carve yes. into my heart. Carve your word. David said, your word have I hidden in my heart, God, that I may not sin against you. Oh, yes. The word, when the word is getting into your sound. heart, yes, that Lord. sound, yes. is you, you hearing that sound and you receiving it. And when something is being cut and carved in and so forth, and it, it don't feel good all the time. Yes. Because that's that conviction oh, yes. where God will begin to convict us what we can turn away from. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. What we can Hallelujah. Thank you. He said, but sound the alarm. He said, shout. He said, you need to shout. Yes. Raise your voice to raise a shout. Oh, yes. Where your shout, you can't no longer sit at the same where your shout got to change. Oh, yes. You know where you begin to lift up your voice Hallelujah. and you begin to send this shout out. Because this shout right here, this shout is going to do something oh, in yes. the atmosphere. Yes. This shout, this sound right here is going to release something in the atmosphere. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. Yes, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, yes, Jesus. Lord. Hallelujah. They also, hallelujah, uh, Pastor, if you would get numbers 10 and 10 for me. They also had the silver trumpet, where the trumpets was made out of the silver. Hallelujah. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. So God is trying to get the people of God to know, you know what? I need to hear this sound. I need to hear the sound of repentance. I need to hear yes. the, 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 this sound of prayer, this sound of worship. I need to hear it back again. We're not hearing the sound that oh, God yes. want, uh, want to hear where lives are changed completely, where a whole nation is changed. Hallelujah. You go ahead and read it for me. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Make thee two trumpets of silver, mm -hmm. of a whole piece shall thou make them that thou mayest use them for the calling of the assembly and for the journey of the camps. See, if they also, these trumpets, they will get these trumpets, they will play these trumpets over the burnt offering, over the sacrifice. They will have different, different. it, it will be different uh, sounds oh. at different times. But yes. the sound, they will know what that sound was. What, what was that, what was that sound? When they would make that sound, you had, the, the, uh, the sound of the Passover, yes. hallelujah. The trumpet, when they would blow the trumpet of the Passover, hallelujah. Yes. Amen. Where they would know that we got we covered, we gotta be covered in the blood of Jesus. We gotta be covered, hallelujah, that God, God may uh, uh, allow the, 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 the deaf angel to pass by and, when, and the children and uh, Israel, he, he began to tell them that when you put the blood on your doorposts, See, death was going to pass over you. Hallelujah. So that was that trumpet sound. Hallelujah. They had the festival. They would blow the trumpet of the festive days. That's that celebration of rejoicing yes. and reflecting on what God has done. When you realize and you begin to 
reflect on what God has done, that brings rejoicing. Oh, that yeah. brings celebration. Oh, yeah. Where it's time to celebrate. You got to know when to celebrate. You got to know when to pull back and say, no, it's time for me to rest. Hallelujah. They knew exactly when the trumpet was blown, they knew exactly. They had numbers of times where they would blow the trumpet and they would know exactly what that sound was. What that sound was. We have to have a sound as men yes. and women of God, as leaders. It has to be a sound that go first. out. Hallelujah. First, yes. there must be a sound. Yes, Lord. There must be a sound. The, the, the people of God have to first make yes. the sound. Yes. You got to hear so that you can first release the sound. Oh, yes. That it can go out and it can go and it can touch and it can deliver. It can, it can bring miracles and so forth with the sound that, that God want to hear. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. We got to hear a sound. And the sound is being doled out. Where we're not hearing that sound. Yes. And if we're not hearing the sound, then God is not hearing the sound. Where it's not bringing no change, no deliverance. Because first, there must be a sound from this earth realm, from the people of God. He said, blow the trumpet in Zion. Yes, yes, Lord. That place of peace in Jerusalem. That place where from the house of God, yes. the body of Christ, Hallelujah. first there must be a sound. Yes. We don't hear the sound of prayer anymore. Mm -hmm. We don't hear that sound of worship anymore. Oh, yeah. Where we worship in God and spirit and truth. We don't hear that sound of the rainbow word being released like yeah. it's that word is supposed to be open all the way up where yeah. it's hit nations. Oh, yeah. Because it's gonna line up with God's word. First, there must be a sound. Yeah. We cannot compromise. God's word and the sound that God have put in us to release because it's already in us to release the sound. Oh, yes. It's already in us to release the sound. Yes, Lord. You also, hallelujah, there is the sound, the clarion call. The clarion call. And, and that's where we're at right now. There is a clarion oh, call. Yes. Saints of God, that we got to get back on our face. We got to begin to pray and to cry out for our nations, for our families, yes. oh, for the body of Christ. Hallelujah. We got to begin to get on our yes. face. That clarion call of prayer. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, of us coming together in unity where all division is removed, where we're coming together in unity. Oh, yes. Where God can show up in a place. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. That God can bring change in that place. Yes, yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is a clear sound, yes, a clear Lord. tone. Because when you're all on one accord and you're making that sound, that same sound, hallelujah, yes. that sound is making a difference. That sound is what's going to bring about change, that's yes. going to bring about deliverance. Yes, Lord. He said, This sound right here, it raised a war cry. War. We're always in a war. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. But then you got to know this this not no corner war. This is this is spiritual. Oh yes. Spiritual warfare where you got to begin to cry out to God to know that God already told us we got the victory. Oh yes. We got the victory. We, we coming out of this thing. All God want to know is you why you going through? Are you still going to worship me? Yes. Are you still going to make a sound? Are you still going to praise me? Yes. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. He already told us. We got to know it don't matter what we go through. We can't just throw in the towel because we're going through stuff. Yes, and that Lord. things ain't going our way. But we must release a sound. Yes. We first got to release a sound, a cry. He said a war cry. Oh, he yes. said raise a war cry. Yes, oh, Hallelujah. Yes. Where some people don't know what to do. What is a war cry? It's when it's coming down from your spirit and you 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 ready. It's, it, it sounds like war. Where you would hear people say, This is my war cry. Well, well they don't they don't know what to do and they just say, oh, oh you begin to cry out from your spirit yeah. because I'm realizing that I'm in war and I, I know that this thing can't be won in the natural, yeah. in the flesh. 
This got to be one in the spirit. And God already told me no weapon formed against me shall be able to prosper. So I'm going to keep on allowing myself to raise a war cry. Oh, yeah. Yes, Lord. I'm going to stay in that place with God. He said, not only that, in this clarion call, he said, give, he said, this trumpet right here, give a blast yeah. of a, 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 a battle cry. See, when people get ready to go to battle, they're not just sitting back and just letting the enemy come up on them. Come on See, God yeah. already given us tools. True. God have already placed it up in us. No. Yes. Yes, Lord. I'm going to give a blast. You're going to know. Even when you can't. See, you, you can make a blast. Even when you just call Jesus. Yes, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Jesus. That's my battle cry because I'm calling on Jesus. My yes. help. Yes, Lord. He's my help. Hallelujah. And your battle cry might be different. But when it's coming from your spirit or what God have already placed in you, but we know that demons, they tremble when they hear the name of Jesus. Oh, they got yes. to flee when they hear the name of Jesus. Oh, so I like to call up on his name yes, where they can Lord. get away from me. That yes, this Lord. battle is already won because he have already let me know that it's already won. Yes, Lord. It's also to split the ear with a sound. Split the ear with a sound. To split the ear with a sound. Yeah. You know how some people say, that's too much noise. Mm -hmm. That hurt my ear. Well, that's what it's supposed to do. To yes, get Lord. your attention. Yes, to make sure you hear exactly the sound that's being released. Yes, to split the ear. That means that I can't just whisper to you to split your ear. Yeah. That this this got to be a sound, just like I just hollered in. This got to be a sound that it's going to get your attention. attention. Yes, Lord. Why is a person hollering like that? Why is a person doing to get your attention? Yeah. That I can get your hearing. God is trying to get our hearing in the body of Christ. And we don't need our oh, ears yes. to be dull. Yeah. We don't need to be deaf in the spirit. Hallelujah. Oh, yeah. We don't need to be deaf spiritually. But our ears need an opening where we need to allow the sound that God has placed in us to split the ear. Oh, yes. Thank you, Jesus. To yes, split Lord. the ear. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Our sound have got dull. We afraid to lift our voice. When we know what we need from God, we afraid to lift our voice up to God. We afraid to give our all to God. We afraid to just shout. Hallelujah. Our shout have got dull. That's why first there must be a sound. Oh, yes. Our sound have got dull as the body of Christ. Because the world, they not even hearing the sound anymore. Come on now. Yes, Lord. The sound have got dull. Yes. Where now as the body of Christ, we must raise up and make this sound. Release this sound that the world want what we got. Oh, yeah. Because now the world looking at us and they don't really want what we got. And the reason why is, is we try to put on this worldly image yes. to look like them, to sound like them, to dress like them, and so forth. So it's no difference. And that will not get their attention yeah. because that's the wrong sound. Oh, Just because you see people and they feel like that they having fun and they doing this, they want what you got. But if you're not sure what you got and there's not a sound from you, they're not going to want it. Yes. There used to be a time where the world would say, oh, that little people hold it right there. Put that down. Put that, you know, hide your cigarette and hide your drink. No, they will get up and they will talk to you with a cigarette in their hand and they drink in their hand. They don't care about that anymore. There must be a difference. There must be a different sound where we got to change that. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. The sound from heaven. The sound from heaven. See, God have placed it in us already. But it got to be released out of us. So when we release the sound, guess what? God, God allowed the sound to echo all through the earth. Oh, yes. yes Lord. But if we not hear that sound echoing all through the earth, that's 
because we have not reached heaven with that sound that God has placed in us, the sound that God is waiting for. He says, shout aloud. Words I shout. The only time we want to shout is with the music. We can't shout without the music. We can't shout. We can't praise them without the music. Hallelujah. But this clarion call, a call to something that is hard to ignore. Yes. Hallelujah. He said, I also shout joyfully. We got to shout joyfully. Amen. Hallelujah. You can't get no mad shout, no mean shout. You got to shout joyfully, for the joy of the Lord is your strength. Hallelujah. Yes. But they will blow the trumpet to bring all together the leaders. Yes. They wanted the leaders to come together. When the leaders were here, when the, leader, the, when the trumpet was blown, the leaders, this was the time for the leaders to come together. Now you don't even have the leaders wanting to come together. They can't come together. They in too much competition yes. with each other. They too, it, it's, it's, it, it's too much pride. It's too much jealousy. It's too much malice. All covetousness, all of that. Yes. The leaders can't come together. Because oh, yes. I'm afraid of you getting ahead of me. Or I'm afraid of you, uh, 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 you know, this person, they know this or they know that. No, he said, let all the leaders come together. Oh, yes. Amen. Don't you know we will see so much and we will see so much done in the earth if all the leaders will come together? Amen. The yes, leaders Lord. and the people will come together. Because yes. you can't always look at the leaders. You got to look at the people of God. We all got to come together. Because yes. when it's all said and done, all our titles is going to be down to the ground. All of us have to come together as the body of Christ. Yes. All of us are a part of the body of Christ. Don't matter what denomination that you're with or that you're a, 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 a part of, we got to come together yes. with the sound. It must be a sound first. First, there must be a sound. Hallelujah. First, there must be a sound. See, Joel was a spiritual watchman. He already, God had already showed him. You, Joel said with this blow, see when you blow, it says to thrust, yes. to clap, to give a blow, to give a blast. That means that I'm not, I'm, I'm not just, no, he said to give a blast. Blow the trumpet in Zion, blow it. If they also blow the trumpet also for the Sabbath day. Oh, yes. The day of rest. The day of rest. They begin to blow the trumpet for the day of rest. Where we don't do no other work. We come and we rest. We worship God. Oh, yes. So you got to know when to rest. <laughs> but first, there must be a sound. Hallelujah. Because anytime that leaders are releasing a sound, hallelujah, when that sound goes out, all leaders should be releasing a sound from their pulpit. Oh, yes. Yes, all leaders must be releasing a sound from their pulpit. That ain't the time to perform. That ain't the time, oh, you know, uh, however you want to want to do it. That's your time to release the sound from God, the sound from heaven. If you have been before God and you have heard God, it's time for you to release that sound, that word that God has released to you. You release that sound and when a leader release that sound, then the people get it and the oh, yes. people grab hold to it and they begin to release the same sound. Oh yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes Lord. Hallelujah. We got to release the same sound oh, yes. first. Yes, Why are we waiting on somebody else to do it? God said, no, everybody, the whole body of Christ, first release the sound. Yes. First release the sound. Oh, yes. The sound brings about warning. The sounds bring about correction. Hallelujah. Brings about change, the sound. Yes. There first must be a, a, a sound. Oh, yes. 
See, we have ignored some stuff too long, but he said this clarion call, you cannot yes, ignore it. Yes. Yes, Lord. You cannot ignore it. You cannot ignore it that there's so many souls that's lost, and we're not talking about repentance. We're not talking about that you need to be saved, and you need to be sanctified, yes. and you need to be baptized, and you need to be filled with the Holy Ghost. You need the evidence of speaking in tongues. We're not talking about those oh, things. Yeah. We're pulling back because we don't want to run people away from our churches. But you, when you realize that the church is not yours, it belongs to God. You are the church. God said you are the called out ones. And if you're the called out ones, first there must be a sound. That's the only way that people are going to know what to do. They got to hear the sound. First, they got to hear the sound of evangelism. What we got to hit the streets is too many souls. The hell is enlarging itself every day. We got to let people know about Jesus. Oh, yes. We got to let people know that it's still holiness or hell. Hallelujah. We got to let people know we're pulling back because we don't want to make the sound. We don't want to sound the alarm because we want to say it's not my place. If you preach the word of God and you have accepted Christ and you have the opportunity to give a person an imitation of Christ, you're going to be held accountable if you do not release that sound that God is telling you to release. You're going to be held accountable because now we have made the church as a, 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 a performance. A social club. We just come. Yes, Lord. See what this person got on, what they doing, what they singing. All I want to do is hear the choir sing. When the choir sing, I can go home. Or when the preacher, when he get through, I'm going right on out the door and all that. Everybody saw me at church. I went to church today. Come on now. And that's all that you did. You came in, but you did not, you did not receive on, the sound. Receive. Yes, Lord. So if you did not receive it, then you can't go release the sound. Come on now. Those are people that have a form of godliness but deny the power thereof. Yes. Because I, I, I really don't, I just want God when I need God. Or I want to act like I'm serving God, but I'm not serving God. I just want to put on an act. Yes. It's time for the hypocritical way of performance. And it's time for us to truly get back on our face and be praying. Amen. It's time for us to live a repentance life because also they blew the trumpet also for repentance. For repentance. That's a sound. Because that is the sound that's yeah. going off right now. Yes, Lord. From the pulpit. Repent, people of God. Repent. Yes, Lord. Repent. Yes, Lord. Repent. Turn from. Turn away from it. Don't go back to it. Repent. Be very sorry about it. Oh, God, I'm sorry about it. Forgive me, God. Yes, Lord. But when you feel like you don't got to ask God to forgive you mm -hmm. or that you don't have to repent, mm -hmm. then I already know where you're going. Sure. Because some people say, well, I don't have to repent because I heard a preacher say that I'm already forgiven. If you already forgiven, he wouldn't have never told you to repent. Amen. You got to repent for wrongdoing. You, you, you cannot think that I'm just going to ride on grace. No, it ain't going to work like that. Amen. And I tell people all the time, how long do a bar of soap last you? How long do one bar of soap last you? Where make it like that's your grace. Make it like it's your, 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 your grace that you use it. And you keep using and you keep using and you keep using. After a while, that bar of soap is going to run out. Oh, yes. That lets you know, I got to repent. Grace, and see, and the thing about God, he's so merciful. When you do repent, guess what? There goes fresh bar of soap right there. Yes, Lord. I'm just using that as a metaphor. Where you can't get stuck on grace. Oh, grace and mercy. 
Yes, grace and mercy. But grace and mercy can't run out if you don't turn from wickedness. And that's what Joel was trying to tell them. If you don't turn, you better ask God. God, search my heart. Cut up out everything that's not like you, God. Where I get this thing right, where I turn away from it. God, uproot this stuff up out of me. Where you bring about change in my life where I'm different. I don't want to be the same. I don't want it to be there. I don't want it to abide in me, God. I want to be changed. Yes, Lord. I want to be different. I don't want to fit in with the world. I don't need the image of the world, Amen. but I need the image Amen. of Jesus Christ yes, in my Lord. life. Yes, God. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. I need the image of Jesus Christ. Yes. And then when this trumpet was blown, it also was letting them know it's wartime. It's wartime. It's wartime. And saints of God, it's wartime. We are in a war. And a lot of people don't even realize that we're already in a war. Yes. They don't even realize it. But guess what? First, this sound is sounding off from the pulpits. And the pulpits have to get on fire with the Holy Ghost. And the Holy Ghost got to be up on their mouth. The fire of God has to be up on their mouth where they're releasing this sound. And as they release this sound from heaven, hallelujah, this sound is going to travel because God is going to allow it to echo, echo out through the nation. Oh, yes. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. They will blow that trumpet to warn. Yes. Lord. And that's the reason why we got to hear from the, we got to hear from our leaders. Oh, yes. The ones that watch over our souls. We want to run after people just because they know, Come just on, because man. you see them on TV. On, we man. want to spend all our time, but the one that watch over your soul trying to warn you because they already know, they are, whatever God is releasing to them, warn them about this before it's too late. Warn them about that. The ones that you see, they don't know about your soul. They don't know what's going on with you. A person can tell you, I see this, I see this on you, and I see that. They can tell you all of that. But honestly, in your heart, you already know where you at. You already know what you've been told. But Joel say, y'all better blow this trumpet in Zion. Y'all better release the sound. This is a warning to the church. Yes, Lord. There must be a sound release. Yes. We must blow the trumpet in Zion. Yes. We must blow it until it split the ear. Oh, Hallelujah. Yes. We must blow the trumpet in Zion where it brings about a change in the nation. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. It must bring about that cut, that carving in the heart, yes. because now there's no conviction. Oh, yes. There's no conviction. What happened to conviction? Yes. Where I, when I know that God is speaking to me and it hit my heart and I react, God, yes, it's me, God. Yes, Forgive Lord. me. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. There's no conviction. Yes, Lord. I can live wrong and I still can do what God has told me to do. No conviction. Because the sound has not been released. Yes. See, you will hear that sound because that sound will always knock on your heart. That sound will always cut up on your heart. That sound will always split your ear. Hallelujah. That, when you hear that sound, that sound will bring about transformation. Oh, yes. There got to be transformation. Hallelujah. Where this sound, this sound will change me. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. This sound will bring about change in my life because oh, I got to yes. change. Yes. See, we blame God for things that God has not done, but we refuse to change for God. Mm -hmm. And we refuse to allow the conviction of God's word, of the Holy Spirit. See, the Holy Spirit was bringing conviction. Mm -hmm. That's the reason why I say some people that say that they got the Holy Spirit, mm -hmm. you know, I'm questioning that. Yes, yes, Lord. Because the Holy Spirit brings conviction. Amen. It convicts the heart. Yes. Where now I'm reacting to the word of God. I know that's for me. Mm. Don't nobody else got to know, but God, as long as God knows that I'm reacting to this word, oh, yes. that this word is doing something for me. Hallelujah. Yes, yes, Lord. Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, God Lord. don't convict us to tear us down, but God convict us to change us.
change us Amen. because he loves us and he wants to keep us. Amen. If God never shown us anything, we will never change because we'll think that we all we got it all together. Yes. Yes, Lord. He said, but first there must be a sound. We got to blow the trumpet in Zion and sound the alarm in the holy mountains. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble for the days of Lord, the, the Lord is coming mm. for it is at hand. Yes. The days of the Lord is coming. It's at hand. Yes, Lord. So we have to blow the trumpet in Zion where this sound is released to everyone. Oh, yes. Everyone. Well, when they hear it, they will know. And see, sometimes a lot of people, it, it, it's, it's certain, they run from the sound. They run from the sound when you're saying, we got to live holy. We got to live sanctified. We got to repent. They run from that sound. But now, all I want to do is hear the sound of prosperity. All I want to do is hear the sound of grace. All I want to hear the sound of love. Okay, God love you. God talking about repentance. If God is convicting you, God love you. He chasing those who he loves. So if God is is convicting you of those things, God love you. Yes, Lord. But you run from the sound because it gets the cutting on your heart. Oh, yes. It gets the cutting on you, and you're not realizing. It seems like every time I go to church, they bring it up something. We don't know. Amen. Some of the people, God don't know. But God began to speak, and God began to show leaders. That's the reason why they watch over your soul. Yes. Yes, Lord. So they would know the way to minister. Lord. Because God loves us. He want to keep us. He don't want us to die. Yes, Lord. We need to repent. There must be a sound. There must be a sound. There must be a sound. First, First. we can't ignore the sound. Oh, yes. We cannot ignore the sound any longer. Mm -hmm. We got to give it. He Wake said, up. let the priest lay between the porch and the altar. Oh, yes. Saying, Lord, have mercy upon your people. Yes. Wake up, Lord. There must be a great awakening. Oh, yes. Because when the trumpet is blown, there is a great awakening. Yes, Lord. Where the church needs an awakening. Where we have to wake up out of our sleep, out of our slumber, out of our procrastination, out of our fear. We got to wake up. Yes, Lord. We got to allow the Holy Spirit to be stirred up in us. Hallelujah. Yes, yes, if we Lord. say that God lives in us, we need an awakening. Awakening, yes, Lord. Because something has died where there needs to be a resurrection. Yes. The saints should not be weak. The saints should not be sleeping this time. We're in yes. war. Yes, Lord. Who sleep while war is going on? Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. We need awakening. Yes, Lord. That we can know what's on God's heart, and we can re we can release what God has placed in us. Thank you, Jesus. That sound can go out. Yes, Lord. And see, this sound makes a big difference. Yeah. Because it's a sound from heaven. From heaven. Yes, Lord. There's a sound from heaven. Yes, Lord. What God. Begin to flex his muscles. Mm. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. But the prophet had to deliver this message of warning to the people. Come on now. He said, judgment, it approach. Uh -huh. But the only way that you're going to get God to change his mind, Hallelujah. if you take heed to his word, Amen. if you take heed to first the sound that's yeah. being released Come on now. of yes, repentance, Lord. Of turning away from. Yes, Lord. He said, then we're going to hear from God. And guess what? God going to turn this situation around. Yes. But I'm here today just to say it's a warning. There must first be a sound released. Yes. Oh, yes. And we got to take heed to the sound that's being released. We can no longer sit and go to sleep. Come on now. We got to be awakening. We got to walk God and pull closer to God. Oh, yes. We got to allow ourselves to be shaken in the spirit. We got to allow God to shake us loose. Oh, God, yes. that we know which way to go. Oh, we know yes. to go and tell the yes. people to repent, to call out to you. Yes. That now is the time. And the time is winding down. That God, they need you and we need you.
you, oh God, because we need directions. We need strategies, oh God. Yes, yes, God. yes Lord. Release the sound through us, oh God. Yes. But we got to be obedient. When God say release the sound, we got to release it. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. We got to do what he say do. We more concerned about people, but we got to do exactly what God tell us to do. We got to release that sound of God of us, out of our spirit. Because when you release it out of your spirit, see, it's the spirit of God that draw me and unto him. It's not us. It's not flesh, but it's the spirit of God. He said, no man come to the Father except by the spirit of God. God draw. The spirit of God live in us. So that spirit should be able to draw me. Yes. Hallelujah. So it must be a sound first. Hallelujah. There must be a sound. Oh, yeah. Release from the house of God. Oh, yes. Release from the people of God. We need to put off the worldly image and put on the image of Christ. Yes. That I'm going to live holy for God. I'm going to be used by God and I'm going to allow the sound from God to be released out of me oh, yeah. so that my household can be restored, oh, yeah. so that my family can be restored, oh, yeah. so my ministry can be restored, yeah. so my finances can be restored. Oh, yeah. I'm going to release the sound that God is releasing from heaven that I can walk in the things that God said I can walk in, yeah. that miracles can be released, oh, that yeah. the supernatural is released. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The fire of God. Hey, yeah, yeah, yes, yeah. can be released in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There Jesus. first must be a mighty Hallelujah. sound from the people of God. Yes, we Lord. got to open our mouth yes, and we got to mean it in our heart. We cannot doubt the word of God, yes, but we got to release the sound. Hey, yeah, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hallelujah. Yes, yes, Lord. Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hey, yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. No longer should our mouth be shut. Hallelujah. Yes, 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 Lord. Because God has placed it in us. The Holy Ghost lives in us. Hey, yes, Lord. Hey. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Glory. Hey. Glory. Hey. Glory. Hey. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. We got to release the sound. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, my God, I see color of shame. Yes, Lord. Let the world know that Jesus lives today. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. He's alive. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. The savior of our soul. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. First, there must be a sound. Yes, Lord. First, there must be a sound. Yes, Lord. If your body's going to be healed, if the dead going to be raised, Hallelujah. 